five, four, three. Yeah, no? It's still spinning. I tried. The only other move I know to make stuff happen is to yeah. get up and go to the bathroom. That will do it every time, actually. Yeah. I'm waiting on somebody to knock on the door. Actually, is what I'm waiting on. <laughs> I guess this is about time. I for, guess uh, I should turn my phone and, off. Yeah, UPS and stuff. My wife's gonna now. call me any second. I'm just on my yeah. way to work. Yeah. Well, we're live already, so uh, we're good. Hey guys, uh, Fiddleback Outpost show number two um, may suck as bad as show number one, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. Uh, to my right, your left, is a gentleman named Dylan Fletcher of Fletcher Knives. He is uh, quite the personality. You're going to enjoy this. I uh, was going to kind of introduce some of his knives. We, we posted several last night, but um, most are on their way to their forever homes and uh, nice, beautiful Fiddleback Outpost boxes. But uh, I decided to move this out of frame. Yeah, just, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll move it back. Shout out. <laughs> Monster juice, just everybody. A, no, I was talking about the koozie. Oh, man. <laughs> you you think give a shout out to Scott. Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a USA Made Blade. USA Made Blade, um, one of my other dealers. Mr. Good homies with all of us. Yeah, yeah. Scott's a good guy. I like him. Um, yeah, but we've got a, a few left. I was going to let him show them off. Uh, you Tell us a little bit about questions them. or anything. Did you? No, well, You're I mean, just relying yeah, on me for this. We're just no. Well, I'll wing it. I'll I'll wing it with you and uh, come up with stuff on the fly. Okay, if that works for you. But uh, I want to know about the Vogler uh, weirdo. Okay. I don't think it's on. All right. So, tell me about this design because okay. I showed it off a little bit on the last show because I was letting people know that your upcoming knives were coming up, but I may have missed something cool about it that. You're going to say that I actually that I, that I watched the uh, YouTube thing that yeah. you guys did. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was pretty good. There was, yeah, yeah, I, I thought it was very, very um, thorough. Oh, good. I thought that you good. did a good job with it. Um, I mean, this is a, I don't know what else to say about it you guys didn't already say. It's just a real simple knife. And um, it was one of the wilder looking ones that I uh, designed. And um, really, it was just it was one of those things where I needed a, a new challenge to design something strange, and uh, it'd still be functional. And that's kind of how this thing came about. I was actually super bored at the time at work. And, right. Uh, well, I guess that doesn't sound right. I was working. You were really inspired. Hard. You were inspired while in while at work. Wife is yeah. watching this. I was yeah. working really hard. Yeah. I just wasn't in it. And then inspiration. Yeah, came down, and, uh, yeah. and then yeah. I drank a big cup of Inspirato. Right. And um, this came out. The name for this, you know what, never mind. I'm not going to go into the name. No? It's like the dumbest no. story ever. No, Google it. I thought it was something You'll cool, like a, a character from Blade or something. No, like it's a character from a, a show, but it's a, a character from it. a dumb show that I love <laughs> uh, called um, Bullet, Bullet to the Face. Bullet in the face, something like that. Something like that. FC. There's a bullet in a face involved. Yeah, yeah. There's a bullet and there's a face. The weirdo um, was just uh, I wanted to make something really, really strange. Like this is gonna sound super nerdy, but I was like aiming for kind of like something that was like real Vulcan looking. Like, right. <laughs> you know, uh, when I was a kid, one of the coolest knives you could get was that Vulcan thing where the blades yeah. like uh, flop down on both sides right. and this blade shape is actually really close to those little things that were on the side like I was definitely thinking of that knife it's just not like I thought it was just all. for somebody with extraordinarily long like thumbs like a huge thumb yeah yeah like a just you know regular size hands but like double the thumb you know advanced expert hitchhiker level thumbs <laughs> you know that kind of thing but no so. no it was just I just wanted to be a weirdo, and that's well. That, there it is. I mean, that was it. So what? What's um? There's all the talk about steel choices and all that, and I, I know we've had the conversation before. And we don't have to go deep into it because I don't want to disparage anyone else's steel choices. But you typically use CPM 154 and uh, 01. Yeah, one. Yeah, those are my two favorites. Well, 01. If you're looking for a carbon steel, it's true. 01 um, will develop patina faster than almost any other carbon steel there is. And um, 
the on-running joke for knife makers is that we have to get it sold and we have to get it out of the shop before it rusts. Right. Because it has to rust after it gets right. to the customer. Right. Uh, and it'll rust from you looking at it. That's not quite true. Um, I mean, it will definitely patina faster than anything else. It'll oxidize faster than a lot of the other carbon steels that are out there. But there's a trade-off with that. You're getting this steel that, although it's a very basic steel and a very... Uh, what would be considered low-level knife maker steel. I mean, it's the steel that most new knife makers use to learn how to do it. Um, it has incredible edge retention. You can get the heat treat nailed on that steel. You can do a differential heat treat. You can do a, a full heat treat. Um, you can do crazy stuff with things you can put on the blades and get different finishes and everything. Right. Like, oh, one's really, really versatile. Well, you do a lot of uh, the acid edge. Yeah, you I do get a lot a, of crazy, like a crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I mean, there's a lot you can do with it. I have acids that are actually made for me by a buddy of mine who is a uh, kind of a freaky chemist. He doesn't cook meth or anything like that, so don't worry about that. No RVs involved? Um, well. No, no, no. You're never going to have like a trailer blow up or anything right. because of him. Well, actually, that's not true. <laughs> but we won't get into that. Yeah, we won't go into that. Um, but uh, he makes me these acids that'll like give me different colors and uh, like figure and stuff in it. Right. It's pretty awesome. But uh, the the steel, one of the things that makes it so great is that um, it's easy to sharpen, but you get that edge holding ability that's just incredible. So you can get a hair popping sharp, and it'll hold that edge for a really long time. And I've tried a lot of the other steels. Uh, A2, 1095, 5160, um, I don't know what else, right. but a lot of stuff. And of the carbon steels, O1 is still my favorite. That's the one that I really, really like to use. And um, just for educational purposes for everybody, um, having a gray kind of oxidation or a black oxidation on your blade with an O1 or even an A2, um, that's not rust. That's a, that is iron oxide, but it is a completely different chemical makeup of iron oxide. You actually want that on your blade, am I right? So that you don't have the breakdown and the true rust, the orange I'm rush. I'm talking about that's all a lie. No. It's rust. It's, it's, yeah. No, it's I've not. made it all that up, actually. No, yeah, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, that is what you want. In fact, there's a lot of people who will force a patina. You can do that with vinegar, cutting a potato, uh, mustard. You can do all, there's all kinds right. of stuff that you can rub on your blade to force a patina. And once you do that, it won't rust. It, right. it, it actually inhibits rust wherever that patina is formed because there's already a level of oxidation. And you can't oxidize oxidation. Right. That's, it doesn't right. happen. Um, and so as long as you can start that chemical reaction, uh, if you want to make sure that you never get any spots of rust or anything like that, you can force that chemical reaction and you can make it build a protective patina. Rust that you need to worry about. I wonder if I even have a knife that's got some rust on it. I might have one. Is that carbon? This might have rust. Nope, that's stainless. Um, rust on a it's, knife. It's I'm looking orange, around like, orange. if I pick up yeah. one of these other things, and I'm like, here's some, I'm going to get killed. Um, yeah, rust that you need to worry about is orange, brick red, red. I mean, it's rust. Right. If you're in any way confused, did you just zoom in on my head? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just you, looking at this thing. Yeah, you, like, you, I can see a preview. Yeah, you shouldn't watch that. You, oh, you my bad. Yeah. That's going to totally this, distract yeah, the crap is, out of me. No, this is production. I just happened to <laughs> notice I was, like, real big yeah. in the picture frame for a second. I'm doing that for live chat, which... I don't know if it's actually working or not, but I don't see any live chat, so we're going to assume it's Is there just nobody even logged on right now? Is there uh, anybody watching it? There are. There are? Yeah, there are. Okay, good. Of course there, there are. I mean, this is a lot of breath. Of course they were going through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's well, I mean, this is live, but we can actually edit what goes on YouTube after the fact. So it may be good that it's less good that people are watching that. I have a lot of health food on the way over here. Yeah. If i got to jump in. Hey, yeah, like yeah, right yeah. Well, I can just, just stall with other things. things. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. yeah, that'll I'm be a time to that. show. Yeah. Now, if I've got to leave, show's yours. Yeah, yeah, right on. <laughs> you guys have this health food restaurant on your side of town. I don't have it on mine. Yeah. So I had to take advantage. Well, you know which one I'm talking about? No. Quick trip. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Epic. Seriously. Is it like racetrack? No, no. Quick trip is. Quick trip is this. 
Really? Racetrack yeah. is like, oh, I'm drunk, it's the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Quick Trip is yeah. like, I made a trip for this. So Racetrack is like the Waffle House of health food stores is what yeah. you Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Quick Trip is like tippy top. That's like right. uh, okay. uh, Harry's Yeah, something. And yeah. Is there like a particular oh, thing we should eat that's Oh, man, the there are hot dogs that have been rolling on that conveyor thing for like eight hours. Oh, yeah. And have that patino on it. Yeah, that's not the patina. That's the, <laughs> that's the patina that about. you're looking yeah, for. Right. And then they have those yeah. chimichangas, and they they got the little taquitos. Oh, the taquitos and, uh, are good. The bomb thing yeah. Yeah. is the milkshake. You know the milkshake what? machine? No. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Have you had one of these? Oh, the milkshake? No. Oh my god! Oh, you no. walk in and there's like this freezer thing. It's like a cupboard. We're totally off topic. Screw steel. This is. Let's talk about a gas station. Let's talk about ice cream. If you don't know Quick Trip. Go, do Google Maps and see if there's one near you and go try this. I'm dead serious. This is going to be the best milkshake you've ever had in your life. You go in there and there's like this freezer cooler thing. And it's got these cups here about this big. It's got to be uh, like maybe a, a 12 ounce cup size. And it's like half full of this solid ice creamy stuff. I don't know what the real substance ice is. It's ice cream like. Yeah. yeah. It's an ice cream and, like But it's like substance. a solid thing. Yeah. And what you do is you peel the top the top off your cup and you put it in this machine that's about yay big. These are the dimensions, about yay big. Yeah. And you can choose how thick you want it. Right. That's the thing right there. Oh my god. So I choose master thick. And then uh wow. okay, master Oh thick. man. Oh man, it's the best milkshake. I can't believe you never had one of these. No. Clearly no. you don't party like I do. No, it's um. You I mean, I've had the healthy it's right taquitos. over here. Yeah, yeah the taquitos. I've, I've are rocked bomb. those. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I had that. But anyways, yeah. So if I have to jump up like right in the middle of this and go. Yeah. No, we're good. Launch it. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you got to go drop the. Yeah, off you the know, pools. it's it's the health stuff that goes right it's through me. Stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, but back to the knife steel. So that's the that's the carbon steel. I choose that because it's for one thing, it's inexpensive. I can use the crap out of it. It's awesome. Holds an edge great. It's super, super tough. If you break one of these knives, I, well, one of mine. I don't know these other people. I don't even know what their warranty is. You break <laughs> one of mine, it gets either fixed or replaced for free. And the O1 steel, I mean, this, this is one of the biggest failures that I've had. Uh, the only other one that I had that was worse than this um, was a heat treat issue. And uh, I take that back. There were two that I had worse than this. The, the one of these knives that was worse than this, it broke there right. instead of there, and so that was bad. Um, and then the other one was a complete failure. It snapped like right here, and that was actually a heat treat. I remember thing. seeing that. Yeah, I actually took the yeah. handle off of it. Um, yeah. But I'll replace them for free. Excuse me. Ooh, tell you. Yeah. yeah, and uh, that's because I believe in the steel so much. I mean. These things are diehard. Like, we could slam this thing right here through some ridiculous crap right now. That might be I next week's show. I mean, we could show. flex this yeah. blade. That might be next week's levels. show. We, yeah. We can get, uh, yeah. What's, what's that show? Uh, Mythbusters. We can get Mythbusters on. <sighs> It'll be nice. Get some goggles. I've, I've, got, I've got a new mask. Yeah, yeah. full fit respirator. It's going to get real. That's what I'm talking I'll, about. I'll tell you guys in a minute why, why I have this and I'm not a knife maker. By the way, this knife right here belongs to Omar Sayre? Sayre, maybe? Yeah. I We're going to go with that. That's how I say it. We're going to go with and, that. And uh, he broke the tip, as you may, maybe can see here. You zoom in This on is that? a 30 second delay, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. so that's the tip right there, all gone. And uh, because of that, he's going to get a brand new knife. Because if I fix that, it's no longer this model. And uh, so I want to give my. Is it true on. that knife makers don't actually make mistakes, only shorter knives? No, no, that's no. not true. No. There is well, I saw I'm not the, the norm. I'm pretty sure that makes it real. I'm not the norm though. There's a lot of knife makers that have a lot of uh, things going on that I don't have, and it's not because I'm a better knife maker than them. It's because there's a lot of things that I just refuse to do. I'm too anal. Don't take that the wrong way. I think um, we can say anal. Right? Yeah. Um, but, uh, like, if, if I was to mess something up, I mean, I did that. Uh, were you watching the thing yesterday on Instagram where I was talking about the knife scales? No. I could have fixed those to the level 
that most knife makers would have been okay with, but I refused to do it because if those drill holes that were in those handle scales were a fraction of a millimeter off, I wasn't going to be happy because I didn't want the tiniest of glue lines around the pins and stuff. Right. Like I just couldn't deal with it. And so uh, a lot of other knife makers, like they'll te tell you that when you start making knives, it's everyone has like a bucket of blades that they've screwed up. Right. I have no bucket of blades. That's not happened. And it's because like once I start doing it, that knife's got to get finished. It's got like all I can picture in my head is how much that thing was going to sell for. Right. And I'm like, I'm about to just throw a couple hundred bucks in a bucket, and that's not going to happen. Right. So I'm just like way too crazy about that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I don't make shorter knives on accident. Now, sometimes we do come up with new models that way. <laughs> like, I will say that. Like, sometimes you'll see a model and you'll be like, wow, that kind of came out of somebody's butt. Right. And that's exactly what it was. It was like, oh, man, it slipped on the grinder and now right. we've got two inches off this thing. Uh, I've definitely had a couple of those. Um, and some of them have had pretty <coughs> colorful names because usually I name them how I feel when it right. happens. Like, there was the one that's the... Uh, uh, no, okay, we're going to talk yeah, about names, too. I, I don't, yeah. don't want to say this name. No? I don't know we, if my mom's watching this. Oh, it's, well, we it's don't the have F to, word yeah. was the actual name of the knife. It was the not, Fletcher. Uh, oh, oh, that's the one you ended up naming. Knife. You changed it to F instead or something like that? No, no, it's still. It's still that? Yeah, there was something that, that you had a name for, and, and you ended up not liking it. And you oh, no, that, was it the, the, the Zavug? Yeah, thing? yeah, that oh, thing. I yeah, still yeah. love that name. Yeah. It's just apparently it pissed a bunch of people off, which I do not. If you ask me. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I don't want to start bashing social justice warriors all over this thing. I don't know how many people like that watch this. But hopefully not. Well, it's YouTube, YouTube so I'm expecting bitches. some uh, comments. Uh, yeah. yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, what that was is there was actually, uh, it, <laughs> it was like three uh, people who had an issue with me using a word that had nothing to do with my belief structure, I guess is like the most PC way I could possibly say that. And, uh, I mean, at first I was like, I'm just, it's a name of a knife. Like, I'm just using this word. Like, you didn't copyright this word. I'm pretty right. sure. And I'm, you know, I mean, would you get upset if I used the Hebrew word for, like, butthole or something? Like, would it have been the same thing? I don't know. Anyways, they got real upset rather than screw with them. I just decided to change it to, I think we're going with Zulu now. So Zulu there's the good. Zulu 1 and the yeah. Zulu 2. Although. You know, I didn't think about that. There's like a whole yeah. other group of people who might get really mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but what I'll say is Zulu but is I can the, tell uh, you, the alpha we ship all over boo, 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 military yeah, yeah, thing yeah. for Z, and that's where that came yeah. from. Now, so. we ship all over the world. I have yet to ship to the place that would be offended by that. If you, group. if a Zulu tribal warrior buys <laughs> one of my knives, I mean, I want to hand deliver that thing. Right, right, right. Like, that's, yeah. that's awesome. There's actually a couple of knives that I have designed that I'm going to make that are actually based on historical Zulu designs for their weapons. A lot of people don't give them enough credit for making deadly stuff, but it is awesome. So, uh, so is uh, Outpost getting exclusive on uh, the the Zulu? Uh, you always tribal? try to do this to me. I do. Yeah, and now we're on live, so you know. It's, uh, now it's really. I don't, really know, I don't know about exclusivity uh, per se, uh, but not. Um, how long have we been off topic now? Oh, the whole time. Oh, right. Yeah, on. the whole show's pretty much off topic. So, uh, <laughs> we, we may actually I rename it. I told Sarah it before I came over topic. here, I was like, my whole yeah. goal is to be like, I'm not going to talk yeah. about knives a single second that I'm there. Like, I'm totally going to take it off topic. Um, we can switch off knives. Oh, screw it. We'll, we'll <coughs> finish the steel topic real quick. The, uh, the CPM 154 being the other one that, that's my favorite is simply because it's the best stainless for me to work with it gives me just the right amount of uh, ease of sharpening which is a huge thing i tried d2 i've tried some of the other super steels like s whatever number b all that right. kind of stuff like all the crucible steels and uh stuff like that and cpm 154 um is really really good to machine it's really good to make knives with and it's an 
Excellent. Ex I mean, it still is one of the super steels. It's right. considered one of the crucible super steels. And, uh, uh, excuse me. Um, it's just awesome. <laughs> health show. Health, health, health food. Health health food. Um, the one thing I will say about the CPM 154 is that uh, it's not cheap like any of those super steels. It's not cheap. And so what I use is I use the mill scale finish. And so if you see like little dents and lines, like weird little things on the flats of these knives, uh, that's just how it is. If that's you how wanna, you roll. Yeah, if you yeah. want to pay like sixty or eighty dollars more per knife, for you to polish, I'd be happy. To, oh hell no, I'm not no? doing that. No, no I'm just no gonna polish. buy precision ground steel. I'm not oh, gonna yeah, okay. Mess with all it. I gotta really work hard to keep myself from cussing on this thing. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure we. Yeah. yeah. I mean the way I talk. Yeah. Well, people. You're not the only one like proxy. Yeah, you're not the only one. That's <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I love CPM 154. I think it's awesome. Most of my personal knives are actually done in CPM 154. This is my personal Vogler. Vogler. It's in CPM 154, and uh, this is my. High Plains Drifter and CPM 154. Now, is, is that one one that you have uh, currently? Is, uh, <laughs> it's not on Fiddleback Outpost. It's not. It's, uh, it's not. it's not on Fiddleback Outpost. Mm -hmm. We'll just go with that. Um, here's my little Pocket Kilo 2. You guys haven't had any of these yet. Have no, no, Pocket sir, we Kilo have not. Uh, this one's actually... Uh, just under eighth of an inch CPM 154, and uh, oh man, I really beat the crap out of this knife. That's awesome. Um, I love this steel. I think that it's awesome, but it is mill scale finish. I mean, you'll get little imperfections in the uh, the surface of the steel. Uh, it's actually typically just over whatever the actual steel thickness was supposed to be. So. If it's uh, supposed to be one eighth of an inch thick, it's actually going to be in between one eighth and five thirty seconds, right. and you know it goes up from there. It's always in between whatever steel they say it is right. and the next one that's up. So you do all your own sheets with the knives as well. I in do. In most cases, except for the Voglers, which we can yeah. talk about too. But yeah, um, the Vogler is the uh, one of the few that I don't do it for. Uh, but yeah, I do Kydex for almost every one of them. Show that twenty four seven right there. Uh, in the trash. This one. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is Sand Dune G10 over Calabunga Green and Natural Liners. I heard you, like, yep. thinking about the, the colors on the show. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to remember. About it. I'll yeah. let everybody in on a secret and make that shit up. Yeah. Like it's, well, the I mean, Calabunga Green up. may have given it away. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, like, yeah. coming up with these colors yeah. off the top of my head. I mean, that's Lime Green. That's Natural Canvas. Right. That's a des or a, what is it a, a desert tan G10. I just don't like saying those. Like I like to make it fun. I'm like, yeah, man. Well, and you have a Ninja Turtle obsession. I do have a yeah. Ninja Turtle obsession. Yeah. Speaking of which, whose is this? <laughs> Look at this thing. This has been like grabbing been, my been, eye. I've been just eyeing yeah. this Leonardo over here in this badass band. This is. Uh, I don't remember where this came from. I, I think, know where I think, it's going. I think Brett's. <laughs> uh, I think it's one of Brett's kids. Oh, is it? But he brought it in, and now my my son shows up every day at the office. He, he's, you know, very close by um, in daycare, but uh, he comes by every day, and this is his this. new. This is one of his toys, besides writing on all the walls, doing. <laughs> What language was that? <laughs> that was. Uh, I think that we just. It got may have been a spell cast. Yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and turn that off. It was Zulu. That was scary as yeah. shit right there. That thing is possessed. You, you can grab the other mascot <coughs> that we have too. Oh, are you talking about the gopher? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was the song? I. Well, it's a. It's alright. No, I'm outside of dinner too. I think you should have brought your guitar. I actually thought about it, but I originally was going to come over on the bike, and I didn't want to look like that uh, douchebag from uh, the Outdoor Channel that rides everywhere with <laughs> the Harley with his AR on his back. Oh, I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm no, not going to do no, that. No. Prince. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only person I knew that rode a guitar, uh, rode with his guitar on his back. 
This is so Before distracting. T- yeah, well, you're not supposed I'm to I'm, like, at looking it. at me 30 seconds ago. It's 30 <laughs> seconds ago. It's almost as though I'm seeing the future, but I can't yeah. influence the past. No. Yeah. It's deep. Yeah. Set that over there. Now what do you want to talk about? Uh, well, uh, for those of you wondering why there are so few Fletcher knives out, uh, we did a newsletter release last night. What does that mean? What does that mean, Dylan? That means that you were late. You're late. Uh, it means you got to sign up for the <laughs> newsletter. Yep. You got to get on the newsletter list. Yep. And All then the way you'll on. Get the newsletter. Yep. And then, based on what you see in the newsletter, you can act on things that you have viewed in the newsletter. Correct. Newsletter. Yeah. Newsletter. So basically, in the newsletter that you should sign up for. Newsletter. Um, on the website. Bowling. Down at the bottom. Um, yeah, sign up for the newsletter. We send out notifications of when we have new knives in stock, uh, when we get new models, that kind of thing. And um, you get first dibs. And then they go out on social media later. Even if we release at the same time, which this time we didn't, um, but occasionally I will. Uh, I'll actually release it everywhere for, at the same time. But I don't put any social media out until the knives have already hit the site. So if you're on the newsletter, you already know that they're going to be posted at 7 o'clock or whatever time it is. Um, and you can actually go and, and be looking at that before the algorithm with Facebook and Instagram and everybody else catches up whenever that is. And they finally allow you to see the things you want to see. Um, but by that time, the newsletter subscribers have already been to the site and sharked all the, the awesomeness that they particularly want. So, yeah, but... All these and the ones that we posted last night on the newsletter are live right now on the website. So you can go on there. Uh, they are on the front page uh, as well as a couple of new products we'll talk about here in a second. You look like you lost something. No. Uh, phone call? Yeah. Huh? Ah! <laughs> What's up, Justin? Hold on a second. Is it? Is it uh, All right, you're on speaker and you're on a live... Broadcast You're on a live right broadcast so on YouTube. So don't say hey, anything Justin. crazy. This is Justin. He's one of the killer customers and friends of me and Andy at Fiddleback Forge. Yeah. <laughs> if you're on uh, Blade Forms, he's Southern Gent. Yeah. I don't want to turn Hi. the phone around because it's got his phone number on it. What's up, <laughs> <Yeah>. Justin? <laughs> Not much. You guys in the shop right now? No, we're at uh, the Fiddleback Outpost store. Well, everybody else is at the shop. I took off. Yeah, I don't know if he realizes that we're serious. That he is <laughs> yeah. actually on a live show right now yeah, on, YouTube, on YouTube, <laughs> live. I'll tell you, right is this a, is this a knife question? Is this a knife question? Because we could hook this up. Oh, actually, it is not a knife question whatsoever. Okay, oh, is it? Like, oh, okay. Let, let me call you back in just a minute if that's cool. Yeah, just holler back at me. Yeah. All right, peace. <laughs> That had the potential to be something really like, we got our first call awesome. in. It was That's awesome. awesome. I thought he totally was watching this. It. He really turns out he's calling me to be like, yo, is there going to be enough alcohol or am I going to need to bring some? Right. For anybody who doesn't know, tomorrow yes. at uh, the shop of Fletcher Knives and Fiddleback Forge, uh, Wasserl's Knives. Um, Swirls. Yeah, Swirlsies. Uh, that's W.A. Searles. I don't want to butcher his name and then not say it right because that's funny. Um, at our shop tomorrow, starting at 8 a.m. in the morning, uh, is going to be the Georgia Custom Knife Makers Guild meeting. That's at 2590 Business Drive, Suite 200, coming Georgia, 30028. And, uh, if you come, there's actually going to be did this, you put, uh, did you put Building 200 on that? I said Suite 200. Did not I? Building 200. <coughs> building 200. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. um, yeah. anyways, uh... We're going to have this thing. Are you serious? That wasn't me. That was you. Um, <laughs> uh, hell was I talking about? Yes. Yeah, we're going to have that knife making thing. I'm not knife taking. Knife making thing. I'm not, uh, I'm not participating in it. Who please. is participating? Six. Oh, shit. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Andy and uh, Swirls. Carl Rex Steiner. Yeah. Uh, Scott Davidson. Uh, yeah. Uh, Scott Davidson. Um, Steve w. Searles. Steven's going to be doing it. Disney? Is that right, mm-hmm. Brett? Yep. Yes. Steven. Steven's one of them. Carl. Uh, yeah, Carl. I don't know who else. But anyway, it's going to be Paul Brock. Paul Brock. Yeah. How many is that? That's six. I don't know. I lost while we were yeah. doing it. I think that was um, all six. 
I have the attention span of a gnat, and so right. I'm not going to be able to count anything. Um, yeah, that uh, six knife makers are going to start at 8 a.m., and they have four hours to make a knife. Now, we've actually had several rednecks call so far that have heard about that, and the most common question we get is, is this going to be like forged and far? It's going to be, it's gonna exactly be like that. better than yeah. forged and far. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Just because it's at our shop, yeah. it's going to be Marco's yeah. Pizza. Well, there's I mean, no it's, Marco's Pizza at Forge yeah. and Far. Yeah. And Marco's is uh, epic, epic, epic pizza. health food. I mean, if you get <laughs> Marco's yeah. and then wash that down with a QT milkshake, oh my god! It's, like, <laughs> it's magic. It's I got magic. to go to church. It's magic. Woo! World without end. My wife is watching this. She just lost her mind right now when I said that. <laughs> like, she died laughing. I guarantee it. She's probably got something coming out of her nose, even if she was We, we love you, anything. Mrs. Fletcher. Yeah. So, that's why uh, That's why I have a mask. Yeah, that's why um, he's got a mask. If you are going to come and you want to right stuff one. in the dirty room, you are going to need some sort of a paper mask or respirator or something, because the materials that we work with are dangerous to breathe. It uh, will lead to uh, most common side effects are... Uh, mesothelioma, uh, the beatus, um, we don't want to have the beatus. Projectile, yeah. uh, involuntary yeah. incontinence. Um, from that may be from the health food or the pizza. I mean, it's that's well, that's all, health food. Well, the cheese, is it's the got corporate. tomatoes in it. The cheese is what stops that from happening. True, it's, it's like kind of like it's kind of like yeah. doing a plug patch on the inside of yeah. the tire, like a bungee cork on right. there, yeah. right? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, if you can make it to that. Make it to that. Yeah. And we will be, the reason I've got this is so that I can go in the dirty room. And they're going to live stream. We're going to live stream it. The whole thing. I, me and Andy have both agree that if we tell enough people that they're going to do it, then they'll then be in trouble if they don't. We're stuck doing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is before they said 8 a.m., which I guess I'll be staying up tonight, <laughs> all night, because... Uh, no, I didn't I say that, and I'm not going to be there at 8 a.m. Yeah, I don't yeah. care what's going on. I could be like, we're handing out free tickets to heaven. I'm going to be like, but you'll can be I watching. get you at like 11? But you'll be watching on YouTube Well, with Fiddleback Outfest. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse right. me. Just burping up some bullshit. <laughs> now what do you want to talk about? Now what do we want to talk Let's about? Let's look at this flex strop. You want to look at this flex strop? Is that mine? No. It could be. No. This one's got black on this Well, side. we're going to order you one with white. Tell them what the difference is and why you want one. Oh, my God. Not. Okay, first well, of you, all, you like flex drops. Flex work. drops are awesome. These are the best drops that I've been able to find so far, and I've used all of them because I hand sharpen all of these knives. And so... I'm and this gonna, is the rudest paddle. We've been out of stock, just got these back in, so... Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you were thinking about spanking so I was. <laughs> yeah. I totally was. I got yeah. caught. Anyways, uh, the the um, the finish, the the tread. What's the, the word tread. I'm looking for? <laughs> Had the, you not uh, put me on the spot, I'd been able to tell you. The grain yeah. and stuff. No, that's not it. I don't know how smooth or rough. The grit. Well, it's the leather grit. with an abrasive. Compound. No, I'm trying to. I'm like I'm. Uh, I'm losing this. The surface, surface. The surface. Surface <laughs> of this leather is perfect. Now I know that a lot of people think that you can just take any old piece of leather and stick it on a paddle and, and put usually some the backside. Yeah. yeah, and and you can strap knives, but it makes a difference what the surface of that leather is like. It makes a difference how much crap is on it and all that kind of stuff. How it's attached to the wood. He knows I've gone through a bunch of strops. I try all of them. Every strop I can get my hands on. Flex strops are the best. This grain and surface and everything is perfect. You can get them with all kinds of combinations of rouge on them. The ones that I prefer are green, which I have no clue what grit that is, and then white, which I, I it's continue 6, to have 000. no clue I what grit 10, it is. I just know that green and white is better for me than green and black. The black is more abrasive. So yeah. if you're trying to get a, a heavy burr off where you've hit the blade on something, that's going to be better. What Dylan uses them for is he's already been to the grinder and everything else, so he's typically doing a finish edge on them. So the white gives it one step further of being polished and mirror polished on the edge mm -hmm. than the green. 
So that, that's the difference in why he prefers the white instead of the gray. Because he doesn't have to do as much shaping. He's just got to make it yeah, deburred yeah. and pretty. Yeah, I mean, I've got other parts of that process that really set the edge at the angles that I want and everything. But when it comes to doing that finishing, that stropping, I mean, first of all, you have to use a strop for that. That made no sense. Uh, but when I get to that step, flex, flex strops are the ones that I prefer more than anything else. I just happen to see it over there, and I give this dude a shout-out every chance that I get. He sent me one of his <coughs> strops uh, when he first started making them, and just... He sent me an email and he was like, yo man, can I send you one of these strops and you just and try like, it and tell me what you think? And w I mean, I have people do that often. Like I have people send me stuff like that to try. And uh, I mean, I'm very, very honest is with this, my critique. Is this where you give them the address again? That way <laughs> in case they want to send you something for free. No. <laughs> uh, no, actually I get loaded up and people get pissed when I don't try their stuff fast enough. But um uh, I was so impressed with that first one. I mean, I immediately sent the guy an email back, and I was like, this is the best drop that I've ever used. And I've been pushing these things ever since then. And he only gave me that first drop. He's never given me anything else for free. Right. He's never uh, paid me in any way for any kind of props. I just seriously believe in this. So if you don't own one of these, this is actually the size that I'm going to get, but I do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of knives. Uh, I have one... I don't think I have it in the backpack. I usually have it on me. Do you have one of the smaller size? Strops? Yeah, we've got. It's like there's everything. one that's uh, it's like a six foot, up uh, six foot, six, six inch, inch yeah. paddle. There's there's one that's a shorter version that's just as fat as this one that's exclusive to Outpost, um, but it's based lengthwise on one called the Outlaw paddle, which is a uh, the also Outlaw thinner. I think is the one that I have. Yeah, mine's like a, a two inch it's, wide. It's it's thinner that way, and it's yeah. also only about that long. Um, yeah, actually, Brett's grabbing them for us. Brett is the man. Brett is our behind-the-scenes man that Heck makes it yeah, all happen. Heck yeah. Yeah, uh, this size except skinnier. Mine is like this width. <coughs> yeah, we may. Uh, I think we've got that length. one back there. But um, but that's the outpost paddle. Yeah, is, I mean, this thing, and they're so simple, but it's, it's just that they're done perfectly. That's the difference. There we go. This is the one that I have right here. Except mine has the white rouge. And I've used this thing. Look up when he started making these. And that's when he sent me one of these. And uh, I don't know that I've ever reapplied rouge to it. I think I just used the same rouge yeah. that's been on there. And they the last forever. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, it's, it's epic. If you have to clean them and re rouge them, it's really easy to do. Yeah, we do uh, touch ups here with the same yeah, this one dude over and over. Totally easy. Yeah. To now, we actually it. use. Here we've actually got this set. Um, I won't take it out, but it's actually instead of being on a single paddle, it's on two different pieces. Um, you can actually put the feet on it, so this is actually a little better. Instead of holding it like you would a paddle, um, you actually just set it on the table surface and work with it there, uh, and it stays in place. So that's the one we actually use here because um, we have a big countertop and we we can. Um, but if you want one for your pack, you'll do the smaller one. Yeah. I, I really, uh, I think that this thing right here yep. would be awesome. In fact, how much is this? I think there's 17 bucks, 18 bucks. I'm going to leave with one of these, this one right here. No. This one's mine now. <laughs> I'm going to take this one. Hey, just FYI, Carl's out of the knife maker thing tomorrow. He is? Yeah, Carl he Recksteiner? He, yeah, he cut himself pretty bad. Oh. Uh, Philip just commented. Knife maker, huh? <clears throat> So there's an opening for Fletcher Knives. You can get up at 8 a.m. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there with bells on. Listen I think uh, I've got my mask. I think it's <laughs> time for me to show these guys how not to do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know, uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm stuck in a situation, and also fortunately, I because I get to spend a lot, a lot of time with my three-year-old. But, it, uh, you know, my wife works, I work, and I'm uh, trying to balance that with the three-year-old. It's tough to fit in stuff. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so, yeah, not to interrupt him, but he interrupted himself, so I'm going to yeah. jump in. Um, this one is the signature strop, which is the one he was looking at. It's actually awesome. got the wood that's substrate uh, that it's on, but this one is actually just another layer of leather in between. Yeah. So this, for a pack, is probably a little Pretty better. Awesome. Yeah. I'm looking over at that. Ah, you're not going to see it there. Yeah. You just got to trust that Brett's got it. Yeah, you got to trust that Brett's editing Brett's on. properly. Yeah. Brett's on it. 
He's and, an expert. Uh, he's done this. about what I'm seeing here. He's this done guy, this professionally for at least good 20 minutes now. Yeah. 30 I minutes. think we're up to about 35. Yeah. So professionally for 35 minutes right. now. He's got this. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's really hard for me to work out doing stuff like participating in that thing. That's just... Yeah. But, but that's cool. I get to spend time with my kid and a whole bunch of other parents aren't getting to spend time with theirs. So, my winning. <laughs> and if you haven't enough. checked out, tell them your Instagram so they can go check out the coolest toy in the world that you build Fletcher with Knives. your son all the time. Just go to my Instagram. It's Fletcher Knives. There, it's, the toy is Magic Tracks. <laughs> uh, oh, my <laughs> God. It is the coolest thing ever. I'm not going to pull it up. No, 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 no. <laughs> they like pull it up and show it. Look how awesome it is. <laughs> Uh, it really is just the coolest toy ever. I love those. I mean, my son loves loves those, those toys. Your, your he son. loves them a lot. Exactly. He actually is. If you look at those videos and you see like all those crazy tracks and stuff, he's coming up with that stuff. Where he's off the pillows. Yeah, like all around. that stuff is him. Like, there's no other toy I've seen. I mean, that's like when uh, those uh, connects or whatever came out. Right. Like that toy lets kids be so creative. It's awesome. And I'm sitting there like, look at him go, man. That's so cool. So you'll find on the <laughs> featured gear section of the Outpost, you'll find Magic, Magic tracks. tracks. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> You're not going to see those on here. We can't compete with Walmart. But, but you will find flashlights. Oh, oh, man. Why are you even pulling these out in front of me? Because there's a whole bunch you like that to take you guys stuff released. Home. Yeah. <laughs> take, take it out, man. I've already got the battery. Oh ready for my it. god, this thing is sick. All right, that's, all right. That's the rose gold S1A, so it takes double A battery. Oh, man. But there's a little secret that uh, everybody seems to miss when they buy one. So a... if you um, if you hold it down, it'll scan through three different settings: low, medium, high. But this thing has a hidden turbo mode. And Dylan will not be able to get to it because he's got a double A battery in it. But if you actually go up to the fourteen five hundred battery, which is you a rechargeable, hot, yeah. Go ahead. No, why, had a why not? We've got a few of them. You know what? We're this is live. Omar's what am I going to do to stop you? We're going to use Omar's knife. Oh, shit. I can't drop his note. I'll forget <laughs> where he lives, and I'll just. I'll never be able to send him his new knife. Let's see, we got. Is this table expensive? No. Nope. Well, it was when I built it, but <laughs> it's not anymore. Let's just cut something on it. All right, let's pop this baby in here. I have to say, I was never really a flashlight freak. Like I've got, uh, I've got one that's a. Um, uh, this is my backpack. I'll do the battery for you while you're while you're rummaging. Oh, I know exactly where it is, so I can go straight to it. And when I mean exactly, I mean I'm not, I know it's in this backpack. There it is. This is the one I've been carrying, um, which is the SRT5 from. Uh, By the way, these have magnetic bases on them. <clears throat> yeah, this has no magnet. Yeah. It's uh, I don't think it's as powerful as that thing. And um, doesn't come with any of the cool stuff. So now, you'll if you hold it down, it'll scan through the uh, the different settings. Uh, I think you're about to enter lockout mode, but all right. But now, if you double tap, it'll go into turbo. Was that different? Yeah. Did something happen? Yeah, it's way different. Now, if you do it three times, it'll actually go into stroke. Ah, yeah. yes, it will. So, sorry for those of you with epilepsy. Uh, <laughs> and those of you that don't, um, yeah. So the strobe and the uh, turbo mode are only if you That's replace the enough. battery with a fourteen five hundred. The batteries are five bucks, so to me, it's worth it to have a brighter light. And for <laughs> twenty bucks, you can make it rechargeable. Yeah, yeah. that. Uh, so this does, does this this doesn't have that uh, auto that uh, magnetic recharging. No, it doesn't have the magnetic recharge because it comes with a regular standard AA. Ah. Um, so to recharge it, you gotta you gotta put a rechargeable battery in it, and you just take the battery out and stick it I in the charger. Man, this thing is awesome. Yeah, pretty sick. So if you have an S one A or buy uh, one, you need to upgrade it to get the full use. You guys have one of the um, cop packages. Yes. In stock. Yes. Can we go grab one of those? Yes. That's that's yeah. the one that I like a lot. Yeah. I really want one really bad. Man, 
No, the lights are cool. Uh, and this yeah, I was, I was never a, a flashlight freak, and these things have been so tempting. Wow, look at that. Dude, that thing just stops. Yeah, I'll clean up. Like this. <laughs> that thing doesn't want to move. Yeah, so it's going to stay on your yeah on your nice sand there. Heck yeah, that's pretty rocking. Here you go. Yeah. My gift to you. Thanks, sir. Look at this. Okay. This is the one that I've been looking at in the catalog. This is the uh, R50 Pro Seeker. And this yep. is the one. It's the law enforcement kit. The, yeah, the law enforcement kit. And this one's 3200 lumens. Is the other one slightly less than that? The Pro, that all right? the Pro Seekers are 3200 lumen, but the R50 not Pro, just the regular standard R50, uh, like the, I think we hit the copper one we have is that way, um, is 2500 lumen. So it's a little bit less. Still I mean, insanely bright. Is, yeah, I mean, that's kind of scared to get there. Where is it? Is that the Double tap for turbo. Whoa! I mean, that's crazy. That's just stupid bright. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, it's about to explode because it did something yeah. wrong. I don't know what. It's not really These, explode, these lights really, actually put really out awesome. so much that they have a heat sink around the top to keep them from overheating. So they'll actually step themselves down if they get too hot and go with a more uh, reasonable lumens. <sighs> I'm not going to dig all the stuff out, but this thing has a bunch of awesome features yeah. that I like. You want to see another cool light? Yeah. We just put this one on the website. <laughs> the weapon light. Yeah, so it already took it out because oh. that's how I roll. Word. Yeah, this thing is pretty sick. Quick detach. Pretty awesome. I was actually looking at it. <laughs> there you go. Thing. Let's play with handguns, too. All right. All right. Always clear your weapons. Let's make sure there's a safe direction. Uh, that way, it's pretty safe. Actually, Mark's on the other side of that wall. Shut but uh, it, no, Shut it's, up. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Do it a couple of times just to make sure. Look, it's cleared. I hate all that stuff. Uh, like, yeah. don't point, don't. You know, I wasn't gonna camera. make you do any of that, right? Is well, Omar's knife 01 or 154? His is 01. Yeah, and uh, that's also a convict survivor. Right. right on. Thank yeah. you, Subtle Serpent. Subtle survival. Serpent. And uh, this clicks right on there. Real super easy with that thing. And you can use your finger. Oh, you can strobe it. Now, one thing I was talking about to these dudes oh, when I got here and started playing with this light was that I always use the strobe mode uh, if I'm going to shoot someone who has entered my home or just uh, anyone. Uh, <laughs> if I have a light on, I'm going to use strobe mode to do it. And it's because I don't just want to shoot you. All right. I want to demoralize you, so I want, I want you to be real <laughs> nauseous right before you die. Yeah. Uh, and so the strobe light really, really does that. I mean, I can see perfectly fine in the dark. I have night vision like an alien or a superhero or something. Um, so I don't need the light. I'm only doing it because I want to try to induce <coughs> a uh, uh, involuntary uh, rectal explosion <laughs> or uh, something like that right before I shoot you. And the strobe really, really does that well. But this thing is just awesome. I think, what is it, like you hold it for a second or something? Uh, you tap both sides at the same time. It's got a... Oh, um, not for that. Yeah. For the one that just turns it on. Uh, you just tap it once, but we may have a turn on. Yeah, the, yeah. There you go. You can just tap it once, and it'll do the thing. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand those people that are like, "Don't muzzle the camera and stuff." I don't care. We can't shoot you through yeah. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. shoot you in the face through a yeah. camera. So, yeah. oh, it's getting so close. Wait, oh. you gotta wreck the slide. Brett's first. Brett's yeah. over there yeah. though, so yeah. I, don't, I don't actually want to want to want to point it at people and stuff. So just in case you're wondering. Here you can thing. you can anally clear that one too. Although it, it is now clear. his gun handling. Yeah, I've yeah. got I've got no uh, yeah, I don't no control yeah. over that. That's yeah. him. It's yeah. got nothing to do right. with me. But it'll fit on as an well. NRA firearm right. instructor. There's certain things I have to do. Otherwise, they'll kick me out. Yeah. 
I'm not an instructor and don't play one on the internet. Perfect. All right. Yeah, so that right there, clip right onto the XD. Snappy, snappy. Boop! Yeah. And it's ready to rock. Ah. So other lights like this, you actually have a screw or a set awesome. screw or something that you've got to actually send in, but this one's just yeah, this snap thing, it on. Uh, how much are these? Uh, nine nine bucks. Man, I spent so much money before I leave here today. This is gonna be dumb. I shouldn't have never. We're actually here. not doing a live show right now, dealing this. <laughs> this was just a just trick. Like stuff. we could just get him in here and yeah, just stick exactly. a bunch of toys in front of him, and he'll panic by everything in the room. Let's see. What am I up to? Yeah, this thing's awesome. Pretty, pretty cool. So now that light also fits on Picatinny rails. Okay, I'll trade you. So I'll let you play with that one as well. Word. Thanks, sir. All right. Ooh, lock open. C. C. Safe. Safe. Totally safe. Yep. And that sucker right there, that's actually in a pretty good spot right there. Pretty awesome. Yeah, so you could do it with that. If you're doing a wrap over grip, well, that doesn't actually work. I don't well, know. you can have put it in far. different positions. Yeah, I mean, just for that grip that's everywhere. Really uh, but that's just, yeah, that's a sick little light. And all that just from swapping out the little, the little section right here. So, um, like yeah, I know I we tried it on a sick P320 also. Uh, we did not drop test it when we did it, but uh, I mean, we did you put it on there. How scary that is! Yeah, like imagine like you go into well, a it's house mostly at night for whatever reason. It's mostly that that's pointed at you. Like yeah, you accidentally left your keys in my house, and I don't trust anybody. And so even though I know my family members were just in my home, I've heard something, <laughs> and I've thought I need to defend my family with extreme prejudice. And you see this bad boy sweeping through the room. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be it. <laughs> Involuntary rectal evacuation. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah, this isn't actually my AR. No. So if you see mine and you're like, but yours, yeah. I thought yours was way cooler than that. But yeah. since we're not doing a live show, that is for sale also. <laughs> this. <laughs> well, I don't want this one. Mine is, mine is pretty hard to beat. Uh, this thing is pretty sick though. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Yep. We're going to put that back in the gun safe. Right on. <laughs> Make sure nobody gets to it. Right. Yeah. 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 That's a cool light. The PL2 Valkyrie. Yep. Not to be confused with the PL1 version 2 Valkyrie that Olight also has uh, for some reason still. But um, we've only got the newest one. So. Yeah. And this is 1200 lumens. Yeah. And we're not going in the uh, gun accessory business anytime soon. Okay, maybe. But um, we sell a light. They're available. We thought they were cool. We ordered some for us uh, after playing with them. We thought, I think everybody needs one of those. So They are pretty awesome. We've got them now. Man, I've just had the burps today. I don't yeah. know what the deal is. Health food. It's that USA Made Blade uh, koozie that you're rocking. Scott, you see what you Has doing? that been there the whole time? The list of things we were going to talk about. <laughs> Did you not notice my, no. my fantastic segues? Man, I ruined s- all of that. <coughs> no, I was, I was trying my best to, to screw. Oh, yeah, yeah this actually no, didn't yeah. go too bad. Yeah, no, There's actually. a whiteboard over there with all these yeah. notes written on it that I just now. I was like, how does he know the prices for these just right <laughs> off the top of his head? There's like a whole list of stuff over there. Yeah. Man, that could have made this easier. Look, folks, we don't look prepared, <laughs> but we are. Kind of. Sometimes. I mean, it's like all yeah. written out, like yeah. Outpost Intro, yeah. Attila Fletcher, yeah. Fletcher Knight, new, newsletter exclusives. I mean, yeah. that's like mm-hmm. everything we've and been talking about. And it even has the Olight S1A, how much yeah. it is. They're $57. There's the part about me wondering. having to jump up and go take a dump. Right. I can't yeah. believe you knew I was going to say yeah. that. Yeah. 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 It's predictive. It's a predictive one. Involuntary order. rectal right. evacuation. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's actually not a whiteboard. It's actually a video display, <laughs> and that's what I've been typing on the computer uh, the whole time. All right, I need my tinfoil yeah. hat. <laughs> Clearly, you guys are invading my privacy right now. All right, so Dylan, I got an intro of somebody else's cool knives. I suppose. 
Yeah. So, just to give you guys a sneak peek, not going to go in super, super detail. Bond uh, Tang! No. <laughs> Bond's like, yes! <laughs> uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out Bond Tang Knives, do so. Uh, his motto is stupid sharp. He, he ain't lying. He I cut the it. crap out of myself. He absolutely means it. So. I carry one, it's awesome. Hopefully one day we'll have him on the outpost as well. But I've got a list that I'm working my way through to get new people on, so... Uh, Bontang. He was watching. like Dylan's yeah. got nothing yeah. going on. Yeah. We can get him over there right off the bat. Right. He's got jack shit happening well, on a Friday. Dylan was a holdout from the Fiddleback Forge area guys. So you wanted shop. me to be the first one? Like you held out doing the doing the first uh yeah, of course. guest until it could be yeah. that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I kinda yeah. feel bad for last yeah. week being like, nah, I'm not gonna make yeah. it. Yeah. And last week was terrible because right. I was actually Brett blew his knee out. So I had no director or editor. How did you do that? Your mouth doesn't look that big. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I could reach that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it, he pulled his knee up. It's not, you know, that right helps. Yeah. Lick your elbow, yeah. blow your own exactly. knee, whatever. Exactly. Right. Same thing. People are going, I'm lost. <laughs> so, all right, so let's talk yeah. about this. So these bad boys are from Stephen Fowler, which you may recognize from the Forged in Fire show. Am I making you nervous? He's, no, I'm just He's doing protecting his nuts because uh, he works around Andy Roy. And when you work around Andy Roy, you Andy protect your Andy tried to cut my protect your nuts. tail you off yes. more than once. Uh, he says it's an accident, but it's not. <laughs> right. I mean, they fly right at me. <laughs> so these bad boys, I'm not going to go into great detail because I'm going to try to get these out this week. So we'll probably do another announcement uh, for them. But uh, he's got several really awesome models. Recurve Bowie. Uh, Handmade Damascus, Handmade Damascus, Handmade Damascus. Um, these two are Hunter models. Uh, stag with a stainless pommel and a pommel nut. All done by hand, hand filed. Um, we've also got a couple of uh, chef knives coming in as well. So that'll be coming in pretty soon. Just to answer Alan Searles. Swirls. No, I'm not. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Uh, no context. It doesn't, uh, <laughs> you can't uh, get the uh, yeah. My mom is like, oh, I know what he's talking about. <laughs> I know what he said. Yeah, I know yeah. what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> she would never do that face. Yeah. Talk about him if you... This is very, very sexy. Uh, Steven makes incredible knives. I've known Steven since I first started making knives, and I think he started around the same time. I think he started before me a little bit, uh, and uh, he forges, so, I mean, this is harder to do than what I do, but uh, he makes great knives. They're really, really nice. I don't know, that, do you know if this is his Damascus? I think it is. Uh, uh, Steven does know how to make his own Damascus billets, and he does do it. Yeah, I'll have to uh, double check with him. But 52100, I mean, that's ball bearing steel. Yeah, but that one is... Uh, 1084, 15... Into, yeah. Geez. So I think he's actually making into a. I think that is. Yeah. Fifteen into. He might be making that Damascus. It might be somebody's that he got. Either way, I'm very confident in the Damascus because the guys who know how to forge their own Damascus billets are slightly more discerning than the knife maker who doesn't know how to forge Damascus billets, so they don't know about, you know, how to see the uh, inclusions and. In, uh, uh, cold shots and stuff like that and so some of the more mainstream Damascus companies that offer Damascus blades and stuff like that uh, they're actually total crap and so uh, any of this stuff that you get from Steven I guarantee you can trust it it's die hard stuff it's going to be awesome yep. and his knives are absolutely sick super comfortable that thing is rotten. so when we're ready to release these and they're ready to go on the website uh, guess who's going to know about them first, Dylan? Can you guess? The people on the newsletter. newsletter. The <laughs> newsletter exclusive. Subscribers. So um, I don't know when these are going to get posted. They're going to be very, very soon, uh, probably in the next week. Um, I feel like I'm the lady off to the side on the, the knife yeah. QVC thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I wish you would have gotten your nails done. I meant to send you a text. I did. They're kind of uh, cut. I'm not no, saying no, no, that no. happened today. From the grinder, it doesn't well, count. Just, yeah. yeah, from the grinder, it's going, count. what are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Now, should we charge five dollars more for that? <laughs> five dollars <laughs> less. 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 There's okay. no telling what people are gonna get yeah. from that night. So yeah. this one may get a uh, five dollar discount now. Yeah, but, uh, that comes out of Stevens end though. Yeah. Oh, is wow. that is that the end of the show? That no, that show? means I gotta take my pill. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like such an old person. I don't have to take that <laughs> pill anymore. There was a point in time when I had to take a pill like every three hours or something like that. Right. And I absolutely but could since, not remember. But since the therapy, it. we're able to get away from using it as much? Or? The physical therapy helped a lot. You know, uh, that nurse was very, very loving and kind <laughs> and uh, very gentle uh, for such a large man. Right. He was very, right. very kind and gentle. <laughs> And uh, knew about my needs. Phil right. wants to know if it was Die Hard 1 or 2. Right. Die Hard 1. <laughs> uh, die Hard 1. That's the way to go. Well, thanks, Phil. You just put a total yeah. a red light on this. Yeah, show. I don't know what Phil's doing right Buzz now. Phil. Yeah. yeah. What are you o'clock. doing right now? <laughs> that was the alarm that's like, <laughs> Phil, hit us a minute. Yeah, so, uh, Phil, if you're missing Fiddleback All of the Friday, viewers are gone right, right now. They're, they're all gone. like, oh, oh, shit, is it Fiddleback Friday? It's Fiddleback Friday, guys. What that means is nothing to do with Outpost whatsoever. <laughs> uh, but it's Fiddleback Forge. Go support those guys. Uh, Blade Forums uh, is where they post up some knives on Fridays, and uh, we always support that. So go get some knives. Uh, we're almost sold out right now anyway, so we can say that. <laughs> so... <laughs> So oh, go, yeah. go support those guys, go buy some knives, and then come back to Fiddle, Fiddleback Outpost for the sheaths, because you know we got those. Or if you don't find a knife you like. Or if you don't find the knife you like, there are a couple of uh, Fletchers left that will satisfy your itch. Yeah, if you got well. an itch, this and the cream will yeah. both help. Show them the Delta Mark, <coughs> the Delta, Delta, Delta Four Mark too. too. By the way, you did a good job with come, the names. How do you come up with the names for this stuff? You know I what it is? I quit, I quit trying to like come up with real clever names and stuff because as a yeah. knife maker, even if you make a mistake, you have to name it because otherwise you have to admit it was a mistake. Right, right. And uh, with it's uh, like illegitimate children. Is yeah, that what you're saying? yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You'd be like, well, I'm gonna give it a name, just not my last name. <laughs> right, right. Um, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow! No, okay. that's, that's that's little Fletcher, not little Fletcher. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Oh, Wait, Delta Four. Oh, the way I come up with the names. Uh, well, like this watching? thing. Yeah. My mom might. My, my, no, she doesn't. Know. She yeah. she was like, you had too many steps. She told me I had to like go to YouTube. <laughs> actually click something yeah that's lost too much. it's gone yeah. she's worse than me about that it's like will you take out the trash nah you already had too many steps in that i know i gotta open a door <laughs> i gotta put shoes on i'm naked um well the, i mean she asked you because you were wearing the trash bag <laughs> so you know <laughs> to her credit all right alan delta four mark two <laughs> alan's watching right now i'm like <laughs> <laughs> so anyways uh the way i come up with these names is actually real silly like when i first started making knives there was there was a the delta fox trial was the first knife that i ever designed and that was like the knife that i would have wanted <coughs> if i was a, a boy scout or some kind of outdoorsy person as a kid who could have gotten a custom knife uh unfortunately i was stuck with stuff like whatever was the cheapest clam pack knife that was it did you have a rambo uh, knife drugstore um with the screw off little, i little actually compass didn't right i uh i never had one of those knives i know a lot of people did i wanted one my buddy jeremy had one when we were growing up but what i discovered real quick was that those were pieces of crap right and uh, but they had matches on them don't they? The matches never matches. work. Did you ever try to strike one of those stupid matches? Well, yeah, you, but you I mean, run out because there's them, only like, two. The shit just crumbles at the top of the yeah. match, and you're like, well, I'm glad I'm not dying of hypothermia right now. That's pretty terrible. But it had the thing where you could stitch your own arm up inside with the... Well, I've the, got the yeah. sutures in here because, I mean, I get effed up. Um, but uh, all it was, that first knife, I named it the Delta Foxtrot because it's DF, and it's just a... Uh, the military designation. I've never been in the military. I'm just not that creative. And so, when it comes to names, obviously I'm pretty bomb when it comes to being creative. But when it comes to names, I'm just not good at it. I mean, my son's name is insane. Uh, I just picked something out of the hat. I didn't really have to put a lot of thought into it. Um, but it sounds crazy. But, so the Delta Four Mark II, 
it's a Delta Foxtrot with a four inch blade, and it's the second version of it that I've made. There's been another one. That came <laughs> I mean, it's like, like I seriously, I just do not get creative. Like the, I when when someone was like, "Don't use the name Zavug," I was like, "Well, what else can I use that's a Z?" I never even like considered. Let's just come up with a totally different name. I was like, "No, <laughs> it's gotta have it's a Z. gotta have a Z in it." Right. That's like the one Z knife that I make, and uh, so all I did was change it to the Z one and the Z two. Uh, the 24-7, um, this one is, uh, because this is the knife that I would want to carry on me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That was pretty easy. Even when you're uh, wearing a garbage bag. The Vogler is the dumbest name <laughs> that I've ever come up with. I'm telling you, if you have time to waste and any sort of chemical dependency whatsoever, you need to look this show up because you will crack up laughing at how retarded this show is. And uh, I don't mean that in a uh, uh, wait. Are we are uh, we still talking about this show or <laughs> not this one? Not this one. Uh, the show. Oh, the Vogler. Bullet in the face. Yeah, Vogler gotcha. gotcha. came from. Gotcha. It's named after a German uh, insane hitman guy named Gunther Vogler, and he's totally stupid. Man, the whole show's stupid. Uh, and I just happened to be binge watching it while I was making that batch of knives. So I was like, what am I going to name this? <laughs> I haven't used a V yet. Let's do Vogler. So that's how that came about. Because Z was taken. Uh, customers came up with the name for this. I didn't even do this. Um, I came up with the original Bush Operator design and uh, stuck with that name. How many different ones of those? There's a Bush Operator, Bush Operator... Two. XL, no. the uh, three. operator 425 and the operator 575, the uh, operator... I'm going to guess 5.75 inch blade. <laughs> yes, 5.75 <laughs> inch blade. Exactly. You yeah. guess what the 425 was? <laughs> Four and a quarter. And uh, yeah, this was uh, the Bush Operator XL and someone else, like I just started abbreviating it because to write out Bush Operator XL... I mean, that's like 4,700 letters. So it's now B-O? That's too much. Is, well, no, no, it was uh, like this one. I just started abbreviating it B-O-X-L because it's the extra large Bush operator. And then someone said Boxel. And I was like, that's so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> like, you've reduced four syllables because I have to say each letter to two syllables. Boxel. Right. <laughs> Perfect. And that's yeah. what this is. Been. And if you're redneck enough, it's almost one. Syllable. And the new version yeah. of it, I got real creative with that name. It's called the Boxel Two. Yeah. <laughs> two. That's better. Wait. Than, that's better than unnamed. Two inch blade. <clears throat> no, no, version. it's just the second version. <laughs> I should have put Mark Two. And then people would be like, "What's a Boxel Mook? <laughs> What's a Boxel Mook Two? <laughs> and that's too much. This one, I actually did. Uh, I had something very specific in mind when I designed this knife. And uh, it was the uh, forced entry scene from my favorite Clint Eastwood movie, uh, High Plains Drifter. You know when he, drags that that knife yet. Woman, the, when he drags the woman off to the bar and he's like, if you wanted to get acquainted. Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, <laughs> I was kind of thinking, this is along those, uh, like this has the same feel to it of like, I'm going to do what I want to you. And you're just going to lay there and take it. And... Uh, <laughs> I want it. I want it really uh, deep. Next yeah. on the outpost, American so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Here, uh, here next comes next week on the show, we're going to have the uh, American Psycho version of Christian Bale <laughs> to talk about how he likes knives and how to get cranberry stains out. <laughs> uh, but this is called and the what's High Plains Drifter. your favorite Phil Kill, yeah, Kill right. Collins song? <laughs> yeah. Actually, if I had to pick one, I would say <laughs> I love I love Phil Collins. I'm a huge Genesis fan. So, oh, man. So, so, yeah. Come on, the drum solo, Miami Vice. Oh Bryce. my God, that's Come good on. stuff. Come on, yeah. So the High Plains Drifter. I did not get creative with the little brother. Can you guess what that's called? The Little Plains Drifter. The High Plains Junior. <laughs> I was like, well, it looks like that one, but it's small. <laughs> Let's do Junior. Let's get real creative. I made up Junior. Trademark. Now, is it trademarked only when it's spelled out? Or the no, trademark? I was just trying to yeah. take the bussy route. Yeah. You just trademark whatever you want. Yeah, whatever. No, yeah. we drilled a hole somewhere. Copyright that. <laughs> if anybody else drills a hole sue in a knife, people. sue some people. We're going to yeah. sue the shit out of them. Yeah. 
Man, you're gonna get some emails about this. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be so many bussy people. It's like, how dare he bring up <laughs> Jerry's name? Well, you're not worthy. This, I was gonna say this is the uh, the outtake version, but it's actually live the whole way. So, oh, crap. yeah, we're, we're where in the outtake is. land. Oh yeah. shit! That was well, all. We're beyond <laughs> an hour yeah. at this point. We get silly. That was that was all we wanted to uh, get to me. discuss today on. Show number two. Take off your pants and your panties. <laughs> Poop on the floor. <laughs> you guys don't watch Rick and Morty? I love Rick and Morty. You got me. You got me on that <laughs> <laughs> Totally off the rails. Oh, man. So, guys, uh, we're going to wrap it up, but hopefully you enjoyed uh, Fiddleback Outpost number two. Yeah. Uh, number I'm going to have to save a copy of this on my... So, in Dylan's computer. honor... Uh, tomorrow's show that's going to be the live broadcast of them uh, seeing who can make the best knife in four hours at the uh, Georgia Guild meeting. Maybe we don't call that Outpost Live number three. Maybe we call it like two Sat Junior Mark two version. Oh, I thought you were going to nope. say something that like roped me into doing it. I'll put yeah. that gun back. <laughs> No, that's that's way too creative. What you need to do is be like, uh, just call it a. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, the the. Uh, Gikamuf. Well, well, how how, how would you like abbreviate well, Georgia Custom off. Knife Maker? So. Uh, Gikamuf. Gik no. Giknum. Yeah. Giknum. Yeah. We'll call it Giknum. Yeah. Giknum Live. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Giknum Live tomorrow, eight a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, <coughs> Luckily for you, I will not be in front of the camera, uh, hopefully. Uh, Maybe I'll give some commentary some... while I'm there. Do, yeah. It'll be like a show. Like the no, now. it'll be like a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. The final stretch. When People does the food tired. come out? Like this? I think they start uh, rolling it. They, the, the ladies there won't let you touch it until other people yeah, are in the room, know. though, which is messed up. I don't know. Well, they'll have to tell me no lie. How am I supposed to get the best piece huh? if... Yeah. Just, are you one of the guys that takes the pizza and you you don't get the pieces that are next to each other? You just pick, like, if you're getting three pieces, you just pick oh, the three no. best no, I don't around even, the circle? I don't, I don't have time no. for that. What, you uh, know, you've seen people... You fold it down. Like, what, well, see, it. you know, like, the New York people, they get, like, the one big slice. They're like, yeah, give me a slice. And they get the thing, they fold it in half, and then they suck it down that way. I fold the box <laughs> so that it creates kind of a V-shape. Just a funnel. And just, yeah. It just drops the pizza directly <laughs> into my fat cells. <laughs> <laughs> health food. Yeah, health uh, food. And wash it down with the milkshake. Wash milk it shake. down with the QT yeah. milkshake. Well, what's good is you can just take the same box and pour the milkshake in <laughs> and follow the same trail. Well, you don't want to taint yeah. the milkshake. That flavor is very special. And so you, you don't, don't want to contaminate. tomato You don't want to do cross-contamination. Yeah. But I figured the you pizza oil would make it directly. slide faster. Like, don't even look directly at the milkshake. Avert <laughs> your eyes slightly. <laughs> Thus, your heart does not explode. Right. <laughs> Alright guys, so be with us tomorrow. Check us out. Yeah, it was Fiddle fun. Post Were there any other comments? I yeah, didn't even look at the comments. Phil's been talking up a There's like tons of comments. Yeah. Phil's been yanking like about Fiddleback Friday. What yeah, type yeah. of cut? The kind that hurts? What the hell kind of question is that? <laughs> what type of cut? Don't forget my sheath tomorrow, Robert. That yeah, wasn't for me. That was from Phil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is Omar's or one of Yeah, don't really want to do Oh, what is that? Fiddleback Friday. Shut up, Philip. <laughs> I love Philip. I don't want to tell him shut up. It sounds bad. We do love Phil. And Phil being. We'll tell that story another time. Actually, we won't because we won't embarrass him. It. <laughs> it's a wrap. Already, already done. All right. Is it still going? We done?